I'm currently writing an article about uh, helping people learn how to pass the Altrix Advanced Certification Test. So, how do you how do you find that, and, and what's the purpose of this video? Well, this video is a little supporting evidence or supporting information on how to pass that test. So, the test I'm talking about, if you go to community.altrix.com and you click on Academy, and then you look on Certification here. It's the middle test, Altrix Designer Advanced, which is a two-hour timed exam. And that's the, uh, the target of our training. But one component of the, tar of the training is here in weekly challenges. There's also other trainings available here. You've got um, these types of trainings that are available, interactive lessons on a variety of topics. You have live training that you could do. And Altrix does a phenomenal job in giving this to us. So here's the video training, and there's things in here that'll be very helpful too. So, but that's not the purpose of today's video. Today is all about the weekly challenges. So if we click weekly challenges and we come in here, uh, we can see there's a lot of them, 272. And these challenges are um, widely diverse. They cover all the topics of, of Alteryx and they vary from week to week. But um, where I want to begin is to taking a look at the, the challenge index and welcome, which is a really phenomenal resource. So what this does is it gives us information about in this table here about every weekly challenge from one to 272. It gives you the link to the challenge, the level of difficulty, and the main topic. So what I did was rather than sitting here and clicking and going and clicking and coming back, exercise where um, I basically scraped all the data for the weekly challenges using Alteryx, of course. And so I started by building a database from this table. Now I did this work in uh, September, it looks like about September of 2020 as I was preparing for the, to take the advanced exam. So what, what does it look like? What, what did I do with it? Well, to start off with, as I built, like I told you, I, I scraped the database. So here's, at the time, there were 190, let's see how many there were, 233. So now they're at 272. So I need to update this, but basically I took that table and then I assigned my own um, a, a difficulty number, which is just the same as this here. It's either uh, a one is advanced, a two is intermediate, three is beginner. So then um, I looked at each one of them and I looked at the topic of each. And after I scraped the data, I went through and I took a note on which one of these do I need to solve to get prepared for the advanced test. So this noted for advanced training column are the weekly challenges that I studied to get prepared for the, uh, the topics that are covered in, in uh, the advanced test. So one of the things that happened um, that made this nice is that I, I've got the URL to each of the, basically to each of the weekly challenges, and then I created my own output directory, which once I ran this workflow I'm about to show you, uh, essentially all the data was was um, captured and then written to my local directory. So let's take a look at what I did with the local directories. So <clears throat> the topics of to, that I felt like I needed to cover included apps, data analysis, data cleansing, data parsing, preparation, um, and so on. So that I basically categorized them. And within each one of these, you get um, a variety of the individual weekly challenges. So if I go into number eight, weekly challenge eight here, I have solutions, I have the initial offering, I have certain people's uh, results <clears throat> that come back. And each one of these are gonna have a variety of uh, files. And these were all scraped from the Altrix website. Now, my workflow that I'm about to show you, let's go over and take a look at that. This is a pretty simple three-step thing. So step number one is I developed a list of all uh, downloadable content from the weekly challenges. So this is the workflow that basically created um, 
my first worksheet, which was the, the listing of all the, all the content. And then in the second part, I created the directory names and ran a batch file to create the directories within DOS. And then um, I went and grabbed the weekly challenge files and stored them to the local uh, hard drives. So that was uh, the way I did it. And it's a, it's, a, it's a good thing for anybody to try to do this. Um, I'm going to actually write an article about how I did this, and this is part of the reason why you write a blog is because when you do something like this, if you don't write about it, you'll forget how it works. And so I look at it and I see I've got some regex going on, some regex going on. So I have to study this to be able to remember how I did it. And then, of course, I'll rerun it to update the weekly challenges up to the current level uh, because I find this to be a very valuable resource. So that's... Uh, basically what I want to say about it and <clears throat> having all of these weekly challenges on my local machine, there's a couple advantages to it. Number one, as I solve them and learn them, my, my own solutions go, I have a place to put them and I can very quickly recall if I did a problem like it, if I encountered a problem like it on the test, then I can go in here and quickly find it. Uh, so, that's very nice. For example, the spatial uh, applications, that's one of the topics that's included in the, all, in the advanced test. Here are all of the, the weekly challenges for that. So this is the, the purpose of me doing it. It's kind of uh, gets me in touch with the complete history of weekly challenges. It helps me formulate in my mind um, which weekly challenges are applicable to which topics I need to study and then uh, I can very quickly launch any of them. So if I want to look at uh, for all 100 apples in under 60 seconds, I can just come in and launch it, launch it immediately. I don't have to go to the website. I can just go from one to the next to the next, and that's a very effective way of studying. So um, that's it for weekly challenges there. There will be an article that covers this in more detail because there's, uh, things that are kind of specialty operations that need to be explained like running the batch file how do you do that where how do you develop the batch file how do you create your directories and all that stuff so i will uh, be publishing that article in the future and then i'll put a link to that article when it's written into the current article where this video is going to be housed so that's it thanks for listening and good luck on the advanced test